Good evening. It is Sunday, March 3rd, 2024. I'll be doing the following stocks. Apple, Tesla, Google, Amazon. I put them all together because they're all dinosaurs and they're really slow. And they're crappy. But I'm going to do them anyway because they're really popular. <laughs> all right. Apple. This is just a disaster. All right. 10-day one-minute chart for Apple. Is dropping when the market's going up. That's just horrible. So, um, so short term, I can't really draw a target because it's not following the NASDAQ at all. It literally just keeps going down. I'm looking at the five year chart because I haven't seen this in a while because I've not traded Apple because it's just a, di- it's a dinosaur. The company literally cannot latch onto the, to the AI frenzy and they're like releasing a $3,500 piece of crap device that has two hours of battery life. I'm pretty sure it's pretty cool in the two-hour span that you're using it. But for two hours, what are you going to do for two hours? You do work? No. (laughs) All right. Apple long-term chart isn't that bad. But it could be five waves up. So going back to 45, 45 to 180, five waves, 45 to 200 is five waves up. So... If it can't break through 200 in the coming month and it drops below 165, the downside target would be about 125 in a wave in a wave two. So it could it could get split like and I mean not split, but it could drop in a big way back to 125. All right. So the next one is Tesla, another dinosaur, piece of crap stock that does keep going down. Keeps going down. Tesla was just a miracle. It just I was trading it back in 2019 to 2020. I made a lot of money with Tesla. I I, I made like was one month where I made like twenty eight thousand dollars trading Tesla exclusively, but now it's just a sorry dinosaur stock that doesn't go up anymore. <laughs> so the five year chart, it had five waves up to four twenty from ten to four twenty. And it's got to break 360. That's not going to happen anytime soon. So the worst case scenario, it breaks support at 155 and goes back to 100. Which if the market turns to the downside all of a sudden, that's what might happen. Short term, I shouldn't even look at this. <laughs> it's like the chart is so bad. All right, 10 to 1 minute chart. I'm going to look at it anyway. Dinosaur. Okay. Okay, I can see this moving up. If we can close above 205, a third wave would take it to as high as 215. So that's as much upside as I can see as 215 in Tesla. All right, next stock is Google. Okay, there is another horrible stock. <clears throat> These awesome stocks are now horrible. Google's chart just looks miserable. And 10 day one minute chart, it's just going now. It's not even five waves. It looks like it's, it looks like it's entering a third wave down. So look out below. <laughs> five year chart. Google's just miserable. All right. Five year chart for Google. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, long term, it looks pretty good. I mean, it broke. The all-time high recently, but recently, recently the earnings were bad. Number one, number two, they, they're they're falling behind in the AI race, so I can see it drop to as low as one twenty. If it breaks support at one thirty-five, one twenty is the previous four. And finally, Amazon. I wouldn't call it a bad chart. Amazon is still pretty good. It went up on earnings. That's all I remember. So all-time high is 187. It's a five-year chart. The first wave was 80 to 145. 65 points times 1.618 is 100. Plus the bottom wave, too. So 220 to 230 is a long-term target for Amazon. Short-term. Let's see. 10-day woman chart.
First wave was 166 to 176. Dropped in a wave 2 to 173. So 10 times 1.6 million is about 16 points. So 190 is a short-term target for Amazon. It's a wrap.